Welcome to Amy's Creative Corner. I am so excited to show you how to go from this to this using this. Text boxes. I know. How awesome is that? So, fire up Studio J and let's get started. Before I jump right into the text boxes, let me show you how this pattern initially came up. So, this is from the Reflections um, scrapbooking program and uh, great layout, very classic layout, but it's kind of boring like this. It's got this colonial white background, which sometimes can be great, but it really doesn't do anything for my photos. So what I'm going to do is select a different color for the background paper and I chose New England Ivy and I like that better already I feel like my photos are popping off the page a little bit more but look this picture doesn't fit this is portrait and it really should be landscape so I'm going to come up to my rotate icon and I'm going to rotate it three times until my focal photo is on top and it is in landscape mode instead of portrait. Now you notice what happens with the embellishments. Obviously these two pieces of ribbon are supposed to line up with this ribbon so it looks a little funny right now so I'm going to go over to my embellishments and click off the show toggle accent so those go away I can always come back to them later if I want to and I'm also going to turn off my rotate and swap buttons by right clicking in the margin and deselecting the rotate and swap buttons now those are off too which is nice it just gives me a little bit more um, visual space to play with when I don't have all those buttons in my way. Okay, so now let's get to matting. Close to My Heart comes with um, a single mat that you can do for all your photos or journaling boxes and so let me just make this one really obvious. I'm going to choose half inch and notice what happens to our photo. The photo well stays the same size but the photo gets smaller. Well I don't really want that. I want to add my mats but I don't want my photo to get smaller so I'm going to undo that and let me show you how I do add my mats in here. I select my journaling box and I drag it right on top of my photo and because the default is a vellum background I can see through my photo to the back side and um, that will let me know how large my mat is. Now here's the main key that you have to remember about this technique is edit your text and don't simply delete it hit your space bar put some dummy text in there so that when this prints out it doesn't accidentally print add journaling because that would not be good okay so now I'm going to choose the colonial white for my mat and with my mat selected I'm going to right click and send to back now you may be saying to yourself, Amy, that's not interesting at all. There is no mat there. Well, the reason why is because I sent it to the back, which means it got sent behind this black piece of cardstock. So with it still selected, I'm going to right click and bring forward. There, now you can see the mat. So I can select it again and use my arrow keys to kind of fiddle with the spacing to make sure that it's exactly where I want it. Now let's say I wanted to double mat that. Well, I just come back up here, add in my journaling box again, and drag it down. Again, I'm going to use arrow keys because I can tell from my blue line that it's not even. There, that's better. Edit text, spacebar. Um, this time I'm going to add some paper 
to it. So let's go ahead and use the same BNT that is um, used on the rest of the layout. And as that loads in, okay, so that covers it. Again, I can right click, send to back. What? Where'd it go? That's right, it's behind the black piece of paper. So I right click, bring forward. It's still not there because now it's behind the colonial white piece of paper. Right click, bring forward, and there it is. So final thing I'll do is select my photo again and let's just do the 1 16th inch mat in black. Okay, so now I can click off of that and you can see that here I have a photo that has been matted three times simply by using my different text boxes. What's even more exciting about matting is that you're not limited to your photos. So I'm going to come back up here to my journaling box and I'm going to add a mat behind this entire section of photos and paper. And again, I'm going to edit my text, give it a little space, come down to my paper. I'm going to select this white background and texture paper. And as it loads in, I'm getting very excited because it's going to completely change the look of this layout. I think my husband might be doing something on the computer downstairs because that took a long time. Okay, again, send to back. This time there's nothing back there to send it behind, so we automatically get our piece of paper. So what I can do is I can simply click on this and copy and paste it and then I'm going to drag it over and that way I ensure that it's the exact same size and you see, oh, let me click on it again or I'll start moving it again. So you see the blue line in the center? That lets me know that it is lined up with the center of the paper on the other side. So again, I'm going to send to back and it is behind my other paper. So again, totally changed this layout. I love it. Okay, let me show you my finished layout. And you can see all the the plethora of matting I did. I named this video Matt to Your Heart's Content and you certainly can because I added the 1 16th inch mat that comes with Studio J. I added a little New England Ivy mat, a little Colonial White mat. I put the big mat around here. I did a 1 16th inch Colonial White around each of these photos. I added colonial white behind each of these after I had matted it with the 1 16th inch. Same with up here. This one, um, I actually put three mats. So if this was on paper, that'd be seven layers of mats. And so um, that if I did that on all my layouts, that would be a really thick scrapbook. So with Studio J, it gives it the look of dimension without really being dimensional, which is so exciting. Okay, so a couple other things that I did. I added um, some stickies back here and tucked it behind all of my mats. And then I um, swapped out the ribbon and just added my own. Remember I had come up here to my stick ease and I turned off, I mean embellishments, and I turned off my show toggle accent. So I can turn them back on and show you there. So they're still there, but um, if I ever wanted them back, but I don't, so I leave them off. And now I can simply add this to my cart 
and purchase it and i'm going to be so happy when it comes to live in my album so i hope that you too will mat to your heart's content and i can't wait to see what you have created what i'd love for you to do is go to my youtube page and leave a comment on this video with a link to the actual layout that you created using all of these matting techniques. So I look forward to reading your comments and looking at your layouts. Until next time, happy scrapping!